Pokemon pins, now a staple of all my new videos. Yeah. That's got nothing to do with anything. Cute title thinking. so cute. Wait, gotta stay focused. Okay, old boy. Now, for those of you who don't know, which I imagine means you've been living under a rock because everyone who knows about this movie won't shut up about it, old boy is the remake of the movie called old boy. I don't know. Yeah, I've heard it's a cult classic, has a huge following, blah blah blah, yada yada, I don't care. This is my stance on remakes. Remake anything. Because, guess what? If it sucks, you'll always have the original. And if it's good, then we got a new good movie. Plus, remaking something does give, for the most part, more interest in the original. As for this, can't say I'm all that interested in the original. But was I interested in this? A good amount of the time, yeah. Um, this is an alright film. It stars Josh Brolin as this guy who's... He's not like a scoundrel, he's not evil or anything, but when you meet him, he's kind of a douche. And that's how he is for pretty much the whole movie. Basically, like 20 years prior to the main events of the movie, he gets kidnapped, and he's stuck in this room for like 20 years, and then he gets out. And now it's a mystery to find out why he was captured. And is it a good mystery? Sort of. This film's kind of enjoyable. Some of it's fun. It's a mess at times. Um, Samuel L. Jackson's in it. He kind of makes things better. But this is one of those movies where a lot of it's good, a lot of it's bad. Which weighs out more the bad? The action's kind of weird. Um, it's shot. There's not a lot of shaky cam, but the action is kind of weird. Um, you have it like Josh Brolin, he watches a lot of Kung Fu stuff while he's captured and whatever. So, what does he end up doing? He now knows magically Kung Fu. You know, that makes sense. Now, I've been watching Superman for 20 years, so I can fly. I know it's not the same thing, but in this movie it's so convoluted you think it could be. It goes from one thing to the next, and to the next, and to the next, and does it all make sense in the end? Yeah, but it's kind of a crazy journey getting there. But not crazy isn't good because it's such a weirdly shaped and paced movie and Samuel Jackson has a lip ring and it's weird and I don't know. Yeah, not a lot of stuff. I wanted to end this weekend big, but I can't because Old Boy isn't overly good. It's not overly investing. I care enough to get through the film, but not really much to talk about. The twist in it's kind of fun when you find everything out. There's a few other good twists and turns, and the action, when you can make it out, is good. Not as interesting as what little action was in Homefront, but it's alright. For what it is, this movie is a 5 out of 10 on the mystery scale. It's gruesome, it's dark, it's weird, it's all over the place, it's messy, it's interesting, it's kind of interesting, it's not all that interesting. Yeah. So, question. Thanksgiving weekend is pretty much over because Saturday's the end of the week. What was the highlight of your Thanksgiving week? Was it Thanksgiving dinner? Was it a movie? Was it the football? Was it the parade? I'm not gonna lie. Best part of the parade. Power Rangers Super Mega Force All. Boom, boom. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. And subscribe below because guess what? I want to wear these little guys a lot. And this is like the only excuse I can have to put them on.